It's been nine days since a former Minnesota police officer was seen kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nearly 10 minutes where he later died. Since then, protests have been happening across the country where people are demanding justice and change. And now in the wake of Floyd's murder, local law enforcement here in our area are working to gain back community trust. Our Hannah Brandt sat down with leaders from three local departments to talk about how they're being proactive when it comes to racial equality. Hannah. Yeah, Brooke, Molly, I think we all know that George Floyd's death left the whole world reeling. And from the officers I talked with here in Topeka to the ones in Manhattan and Emporia, they're all saying the same thing, which is that what happened is just not okay. And that's why they want you to know what they're doing to prevent that from happening here. For Riley County Police, Emporia Police, and Topeka Police alike, training on racial bias is already part of their work. Training in racism and an excessive use of force and how to treat people and how to treat people with professionalism and courtesy and respect. And that is our goal, is, is to gain voluntary compliance um, from anyone that we may be dealing with without having to use any kind of force. Each year, they do several hours of training to make sure officers aren't treating people of color any differently. Our officers and our entire agency, it's ingrained in them that, yes, we all have biases, and we have to be understanding of that so and monitor those so they don't control our decision making. But education is only part of it. They all have steps to hold officers accountable, too. Each department has multiple supervisors who review body camera footage any time an officer uses force on someone to make sure they aren't abusing their power. Our checks and balances on the use of force is, uh, uh, as I was told by somebody, well, that's kind of over the top, isn't it? And my answer is no, uh, because you're right. You gotta be held accountable. And seeing what happened to George Floyd has had an impact on them too. We are as outraged uh, about George Floyd's death and George, George Floyd's homicide as, as other folks are across this nation. Now they're all focused on rebuilding trust in their communities and convincing people they want to protect and serve them. I thoroughly believe that 99% of all police officers throughout this country go to work doing the right thing for the right reasons. And they got into this job for the right reasons. Uh, and so what I ask or what I would encourage people to take a step back and say, if you have a bad apple, should that be reflective on all of us? I have trust in our police department and know that we're trying to do the right thing. There are some bad police officers and we don't, we need them out of the profession. They're destroying it um, in the eyes of the public. And, but the majority of police officers are good. Um, they got into the profession because they really truly like to help people. Yeah, and in all three departments, members actually joined in on the peaceful protests happening in their cities. Or in the case of Emporia, they plan to because they say at the end of the day, our goal is the same. We all want equality and peace in our communities. Live from downtown Topeka, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Hannah. Good to hear from all of those leaders there.